So question number three, we are given a quantity P varies inversely as the square of another quantity L. When P is 0 0.625, L is equals to 4, determine P when L is 0 0.2. So what you need is, uh, from the statement we have been given, we have uh, P, or the relationship between P and L, P is inversely proportional to L squared. So we put it like that, which we can form a, a equation connecting the two, which is P is equals to K over L squared. Uh, because we are told uh, when P is 0 0.0.625, uh, L is equals to 4, so you get K, you divide by 4 uh, squared. Uh, so with that, uh, we, you can be able to get k. k is equals to uh, 4 squared is 16, so it is 0 0.625. Uh, you multiply by 16, uh, 4 squared, that will give you 10. So the equation connecting p and l is that p is equals to 10 uh, divided by l squared. Now we have the equation. Uh, now, when L is equals to 0 0.2, we can be able to get our P is equals to, uh, now this will be 10 divided by 0 0.2 squared, uh, which is equals to, you can get this is 10, uh, 0 0.4, that will be 0 0.0, uh, this is uh, uh, two decimal places, that is uh, 4. Uh, so this is equals to you multiply a by a by a by a hundred you get that is a thousand you divide by four and that will give you p is equals to two hundred and fifty. So that is how you work out that. Remember this is from the topic uh, variation. Uh, this is inverse variation which you covered in form three and by reaching that level you get yourself three marks.